welcome back to this time it's a weekend vlog i had a lot of things planned with my friends this weekend so i decided to just vlog this and not the rest of the week this is friday and we decided to go to the yoshitomo nara exhibit at bloom art gallery it was closing the next few days so we wanted to get our pictures in we've been seeing it all over tiktok and instagram and people have been getting super cute pictures here so we wanted to do that as well I wish they had little descriptions of like what these artworks stood for or why they were being displayed but alas they did not have that and so we were just walking around and admiring like the beauty of the artwork rather than the meaning behind it. There was another exhibit actually around the corner, it was through the garden and it was just a little room at the very end of it. You had to put on shoe coverings before entering because I think they wanted to keep the room itself very very clean since the art was projected onto the floor. And so yeah, we put on the shoe covers, we went inside, it was really cool, I didn't really know what the art like stood for or what it was trying to show you. but. It, as a whole it was very gorgeous and it reminded me of like stars and the galaxy but it looked more like like data points like everything was connected in that sort of way For lunch, we wanted to go to You Know Me Hand Roll in Culver City. My friend said that people heck? have been comparing it to Kazunori, so we wanted to form our own opinion, of course. I absolutely love Culver City. Every single time I come here, I'm shocked by how clean it is and the community there. I feel like a lot of people love to hang out at the stairs, like families and co-workers or just people who are off work taking lunch. And it's just really nice to people watch and see what everyone's doing midday on a Friday. ended up being really good and my friend and I were very satisfied with how much meat or fish that they put in it. I feel like it was definitely more than what they had at Kazunori but I have to say that Kazunori rice is a lot more flavorful. It's hard to pick a favorite and also the prices are pretty similar so I would recommend both of them. <laughs> and then this is Village Wall Books and Coffee. I love the bookstore slash coffee shop vibe because that's exactly what I wish I could be doing uh, like starting one of those but it was a very nice place to study they had a lot of tables and seating their matcha latte wasn't very good it was it was just a little like diluted and not super creamy We made a quick stop at Century City because we wanted to do some pants shopping and also the new Pop Mart opened so we wanted to check that out as well. We first went to Cotton On, our favorite store obviously, and took a look around. They had a few pretty good options but pants at Cotton On and also just like retail stores are really expensive so we decided not to. 
I also wanted to get these swimsuits for Hawaii. We're going in spring break, so that's really exciting. We're going to the big island, but I also couldn't commit to $40, even though it's really good. It's a really good deal in terms of swimsuits. And it started raining, so we had to run around and try to find cover in these various shop-like areas before going to Pop Mart. And this is Pop Mart, and it's so cute. I love these little, like, small... So I think they call it, like, jelly bean things? Or, like, beans? They're so cute. I wish I could buy them individually, but you have to buy it in, like, a bottle, and those bottles cost, like, 40 bucks. Cheapest? So I couldn't get one, but it was really nice looking around. We kind of rushed through it a little bit, so we couldn't see the full extent of like what they offered, but I would definitely come back and take my time. Our last stop was H&M and we found these really cute wide leg grey jeans but they were one size too big so I couldn't get them but they were so cute and it made me feel very fashionable for some reason And this is Saturday We decided to go to Vox Kitchen before our little tattoo appointment um, Vox Kitchen is one of the K-concept restaurants and they specialize in a lot of like unique fusion foods i guess they're really known for their like garlic noodles and filet mignon shaken fries so we decided to get those and they had mouthwash in the bathroom which is kind of crazy <laughs> and my friend also came here before and she really liked the congee so we got the galbi congee as well everything was made very very well i enjoyed every single dish even the drink, the lychee lemonade, it was really good. There were little pieces at the bottom, which I didn't like as much, but I guess that like shows that it's authentic. It started raining, of course, and so we decided to go to this like bakery slash dessert store that we've been looking at called Bacon Che and they do a lot of like Vietnamese desserts and Asian flavors and the line was so long but it moved pretty fast I didn't get anything because I was still very full from lunch but my friends got drinks and also these little pastry things The tattoo artist had a very small space so she didn't um, allow visit or like guests so we decided to drop one of our friends off at a nearby cafe and this is the interior of the tattooing room is so cute and looking at all her flash I wanted to get even more <laughs> but obviously I restrained myself my friend Emily went first and she got an orchid and it's like all colored in which is crazy because I feel like it would hurt so bad for me and then she got a dragon lantern which is so cute so hers took around like an hour and a half to two hours which is not that bad and then i took my turn and it was so painful it's been a really really long time since i've gotten a tattoo so i forgot like the pain that came with it and i got it on the side of my arm too so maybe that like skin or like flesh is more sensitive but yeah, I made it through and it was so cute. You'll see it in the next clip. No, the next, next clip. But I got a paper crane and it has blue detailing, which makes it look kind of like porcelain. And I love it because it was like an idea for one of my first tattoos. So it's kind of a little full circle moment. And my Sunday was pretty calm. I didn't really have plans until late at night. And I went to Cafe Loft with a friend and we just like, finished up our assignment and edited this vlog <laughs> and it was really nice I like this this cafe a lot because there's an upstairs and downstairs seating and their loft latte was delicious I loved it so much and yeah we just sat and talked until closing and it closes pretty late too at 10 p.m. 
so I feel like it's a really good after dinner slash later night study place it is approaching finals week so I'm a bit scared and you'll definitely see me doing more work at like cafes or maybe just at home and I got my two tests back actually for the midterms that I was talking about in one of my previous vlogs and I didn't do as bad as I could have <laughs> but I still didn't do great so I will definitely be putting more effort into my final studying and wish me luck Thank you so so much for coming along with me on this weekend and I hope I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.